Hi guys, I'm sure you must have heard of phrases like Ruby and Ruby on Rails. Now, Ruby is a popular programming language and Ruby on Rails is a framework used to build interactive web applications. Now, this video on Ruby on Rails will acquaint you with the framework and explain why it is widely adopted. So, hi guys, welcome to another video by Simply Learn. And in today's video, we're going to learn about Ruby on Rails. So, here's what's in store for us. First, we'll understand what Ruby is. Then we'll look at what Ruby on Rails is, followed by which we'll understand some of the benefits of using Ruby on Rails. And I'll also brief you about the responsibilities of a Ruby on Rails developer. And then we'll look at the future trends of Ruby on Rails. And finally, we'll look at the salary of a Ruby on Rails developer. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. So now let's begin by understanding what is Ruby. Now developed by Yukihiro Motsumoto, Ruby is one of the most popularly used languages today. Now it's the basis for frameworks like Ruby on Rails and has an expressive and easy to use syntax. Now providing more than 60,000 libraries, Ruby has its own definite set of keywords and is a dynamically typed language. Now, some features include it being a free format language, which means you can start writing code from any line or column, and it's also case sensitive. It also has a set of reserved keywords that are only used for specific tasks. And as mentioned, it's a dynamic programming language. Some other key features include the fact that Ruby, like Java and Python, includes exception management tools. It has a real mark and sweep garbage collector. Ruby has setting that is OS independent and it's exceptionally portable. So now that you know what Ruby is, let's look at what Ruby on Rails is. Now Ruby on Rails is a server-based MVC framework for web development and app programming. Now an MVC framework is basically an architectural pattern that separates the application layer into a model, view and controller parts. Now model relates to all the data logic, View relates to the UI logic of the application and controller is an interface between the model and the view. Now Rails again is a framework written completely in Ruby and it extends Ruby to solve problems without a programmer having to reinvent anything. Now Ruby on Rails developers prefer it when writing code because it provides ready-made code libraries for generating forms, menus, tables, etc. So this was a simple introduction to Ruby on Rails. But you must also be wondering why is it so popularly adopted? So here are some of the benefits of Ruby on Rails. First up is cost effective. Now Ruby on Rails is an open source framework that is completely free. Now it is simple to use from the developer's perspective and with the added advantage of tons of gems, the developer may save a lot of time and work. Next up is speed. Now, Ruby on Rails comes with many ready-to-use plugins and modules, so developers don't have to waste time developing boilerplate code. Talking about easy change management, with Ruby on Rails, altering existing code or adding new features to the site is trivial. Making updates to your site after it has been launched is straightforward and quick. Talking about security, the framework is installed and enabled by default along with various security features. Now you are following a secure development procedure when you utilize Ruby on Rails. Talking about efficiency, Rails employs front-end and back-end abilities to construct web applications, right? Now these are simple and easier to create. A single-page web application employs Rails for the back-end and possibly another framework for the front-end, be it Angular or React. Now as a result, the application's best attributes are reliant on Ruby on Rails, so it makes it extremely efficient. And lastly, talking about a large developer community, Ruby on Rails has a very active and thriving developer community, constantly improving code and serving others. It also has several repositories on GitHub. So these are some of the benefits of Ruby on Rails. Now let's look at some of the responsibilities of a Ruby on Rails developer. First up is web app development. Now, of course, a Ruby on Rails developer ex is expected to create new applications. He's also expected to improve existing applications. Next responsibility is to integrate data storage into the current solutions, to incorporate server-side functionality and to work with front-end developers, 
to make components for the backend, to connect the app to the rest of the online services, to maintain JSON and liquid based application programming interfaces, to collaborate with several departments to create workflows and tighten management procedures, and lastly, to determine bottlenecks and offer solutions to issues that have been found. Now, of course, other generic skills like critical thinking, analytical skills, and problem solving skills are also important for a Ruby on Rails developer. He should also have good communication and practice transparency. So these are some of the responsibilities of an ROR developer. Now going forward, let's look at the future of Ruby on Rails. Now Rails based businesses benefit from faster delivery times and an agile development methodology. So GitHub, Airbnb, Zendesk, Shopify, Basecamp, Twitch and Cookpad are some of the few top firms that have adopted Ruby on Rails. Now, according to a recent LinkedIn search, more than 3,400 new Ruby on Rails jobs were listed in the United States alone. Furthermore, the high wages that these Ruby on Rails developers earn show that Ruby knowledge is something that corporations are ready to invest in. So this opens up new job possibilities. So talking about the salary, according to Indeed, the average salary of a Ruby on Rails developer in the United States is around 117,000 US dollars per annum. While the average salary of a Ruby on Rails developer in India is about 8,19,000 Indian rupees per annum. This shows that developers are in demand and now is the right time to invest to make your career as an ROR developer. And so with that, we come to the end of this short video on Ruby on Rails. If you have any doubts or queries, let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for being here and watch out for more videos from us. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.